Hi. Good evening, YouTube. As you guys know, I'm Rob the Accountant. I like to help people build companies while finding solutions to problems that may come your way. I want to talk tonight to all the lost children. You all know who you are. Your children that have one parent, you've never seen the other parent. Your children who have been brutally abused by your parents, tortured, set aside, left out to die. But let me just tell you something. We're the stronger ones. Because it doesn't matter how much you keep saying no. We're still here. My mother was 14 when she had me. She left me in a store with a note. When I was five, four and a half, five. I have a brother. I may have some twins. But my mother was the first one to dump me. I then moved on to three or four more hoster homes, and they all dumped me. I then moved on to a very nice German couple, I won't say their name, where they had way too many adopted children, and plus their own biological child. They raised us all. They dumped all of the adopted children, but their biological child. In my case, I had two children out of wedlock, so that meant I was the devil. I have two women with two children. I tried to provide both of them a pretty decent life. I failed in every capacity. I'm not saying I'm the greatest person in the world. But what I want you to know is that the world around you already didn't afford you the ability to be normal like everybody else. You're already short one. You're short a parent. You got a parent that abuses you. You got other parents that whip the shit out of you. See, this is what people don't understand about America. Right? The bottom is where all the knowledge is. Because people who suffer great pain in life, they either become people who dish out more pain to other people, or they dish out more love to more people. So... Today, after 30 years of raising kids and women, I'm alone again. But it's okay. And I want you to know it's okay. Because the only reason people in this world throw names at you, throw hate at you, throw whatever they throw at you to try to make you feel like shit you're still here you still prevail you still breathe you still get up tomorrow and you work to move the world forward you see I can get left by a million more people because you know why those million people don't matter to me because none of them, including you, none of you gave me the life that I have. And the only person who can take the life I have is the person upstairs who says that when it's time for me to go, it's time for me to go. But when you're sitting there alone and the world has left you, sometimes it's hard to look in this heart and find the strength to know that you're just as important as everybody else. You're just as important as the family that's perfect with their beautiful, everything's there, and it's great. You know, and I think at the end of the day, this is why people like me have come to like Trump. Because at the end of the day, even though he has three families, he loves all of his family. And I'm sure there's other people in his family, all of them, some of the women who don't like him. We know there's at least one of his sisters that doesn't like him. But at the end of the day, what I want the world to understand 
is that maybe it's just time for people in this world to start uplifting people. You know, everybody goes from zero to a hundred without any thought or rhyme. I am frequently guilty of yelling at people. And I do. I yell at people because sometimes when people aren't listening, it just seems like if you speak louder, they'll listen. And it doesn't matter how many times I've done this in my life. It doesn't change the fact that when you speak louder and yell, they actually don't listen. And then they speak back at you loud. But what I am bothered by is the level of meanness that other people in the world can bestow on other people. You know, it's one of those things like when you come home from school and you got seven A's, a B, and a C, and your parents focus on the C first. But I want to tell you about hope. Hope is that the world around you is controlled by you. And the only way other people are going to keep you down and make you feel miserable is if you let them put you down and feel miserable, make you feel miserable. I have had a lot of shade thrown at me for a majority of my life. Most of the time it just goes in one ear, comes out the other ear. But it makes you think, it makes you wonder. Why do these people say these things about you? Why, when you have dedicated your time and services to other people, they find the smallest things to still find grumpiness about? Somewhere along the line, Americans stop being happy. And maybe part of that is because we're all trying to live this idea that only giving a shit about myself is the way to my happiness. And you know what? It's the farthest thing from the truth. My life is meant to be of service. Some people might view it this way. Other people might view it that way. But more often than not, people need help. And you know what? Sometimes you don't get paid by the people who need the most help. Sometimes you don't make the money that you need to make by helping people. But see, if it was just about money, then a lot of people wouldn't stop and help other people. So that just shows you that the heart of most people is good. But I really wish that people in the world would hear me. These mixed families, these children having children, these years of chaos within a generation of children isn't helpful to anyone. Maybe instead of schools teaching people how to always identify their sexuality and how good they can change everything. Maybe we should just start training everybody on how to be nicer people. Because when you're <clears throat> when you're a nicer person, you know what happens is when everybody around you is nice and you feel good about yourself, you don't make poor decisions. When's the last time you just thanked your dad? Any of you. You know, you thank him for being an asshole. You yell at him all the time. Well, when's the last time you really thanked your dad? Everyone makes a big hoo about Mother's Day. But nobody makes a big deal about Father's Day. It takes both sides to bring a child up. I'm Rob the Accountant. Thanks for letting me babble. I just, as I get older here, I start to wonder, are we all pursuing the things that are the right things to pursue. And if we are, then why are we all so damn 